What's going on people? Welcome to the King's Monologue, King here. So, I revised my reconstruction of King Tutankhamun. <gasps> Why? Why? And it's still causing quite a stir. I'm really happy with the revision. I think it was something that was needed and it's something based on feedback. So like I said in previous videos, I'm going to be quite open to taking feedback and criticism and actually in retrospect, looking at the reconstruction, there were things that I could have done better. One of the things that I was never happy with from the start was I didn't quite capture King Tut's nose in exactly the way that it was portrayed. I definitely honoured its, its width and its protrusion, but what I didn't honour was the exact shape of it and I wanted to capture this much better. So you can see in the new reconstruction, I've managed to capture that shape almost to the T. It's identical across all of his statues. I love the way that the nose now looks. You can see that shape in there is, is almost perfect. Another improvement that I made with the general shape of the face, it looks a little bit more consistent. And then the final adjustment that I made, and I think this is probably the most telling um, adjustment I made, was in, in the colour of the skin. I think I went a bit too dark last time, and I think the motive behind that was kind of to have this um, aggregation of the various statues that are available. I kind of aggregated that colour, so I took that kind of dark copper colour, but then I looked at the ones that were darker than that, the Shabtis, and I said, okay, let's just kind of like merge them all, see what we come out with, and I came with this um, much darker chocolate brown, but actually, in retrospect, looking at the mannequin, I think the mannequin should be the authority. I think the mannequin should be the one that we're most trying to reproduce when it comes to the artwork and any reconstruction of King Tuck because that would have been what he looked like. And also, I like the fact that the colour, that dark copper colour, is the same one that is reproduced on the Golden Throne and I think I've mentioned that before. So I made the tone a little bit more red and slightly lighter but just basically in total consistency. And the amazing thing about this reproduction when it was finished was instantly it just looked to me it just looked completely consistent with what you see currently in Aswan and this wasn't deliberate I didn't start off with an Aswani face or a Northern Sudanese face or even a Fulani face <laughs> um, I didn't start off with any of that I literally just started with trying to make it consistent with the statue as much as possible and what came out the other end I think is just once again it fits very perfectly and consistently with his skull so there's no kind of like any morphing or manipulation to make it fit his skull and his remains but also it fits all of the existing statues so I was really really happy with it. One of the interesting arguments that I continue to have levied against my reconstructions and I was quite surprised by this is from North Africans and some of the North Africans say this doesn't look North African and you know it's what's interesting is that I'm looking at some of their profile photos and they carry exactly the same phenotype they have exactly the same lips exactly the same nose and what they're essentially arguing about is the tone because perhaps some of them see themselves more related to Arabs when actually, if you literally just traveled 20 miles south <laughs> from where most of these people are arguing, you will see people who look exactly like this. So this is very consistent with North Africa. Is it also consistent with other areas of Africa, such as the Nile Valley, such as the Fulani, such as sev several other parts of Africa? Yes, it is. It is also consistent with other parts of Africa, but you cannot on that basis say it's not consistent with North Africa because the suppression of more heavily melanated North Africans is one of the sad things that I think I've seen come out of this the fact that the fairer or paler skinned North Africans feel like they are a mouthpiece for what North Africa truly is and that dark skinned North Africans don't have a say I find that really sad but that's one of the things that I think I've seen emanate as a result of me doing these reconstructions but anyway that's a little bit of a digression I also think it looks a little bit more localized than the previous reconstruction I did. Am I saying there's no room for the previous reconstruction or at least this phenotype in ancient Egypt? Absolutely not. I think particularly in the Middle Kingdom, people looked more like 
the earlier reconstruction but i think the new kingdom seems to definitely lean more towards present day as one which would essentially be upper egypt anyway so there you go there's my new reconstruction of king tutankhamun i hope you've enjoyed the video if you do you know what to do please do like subscribe if you like this kind of content i will continue to make these reconstructions and if you want to see me do this perhaps full time or more often then please do hit that patreon the more subscribers i get the more time i can dedicate to this which is absolutely fine with me because i absolutely love doing this work so thank you for joining me on the king's monologue and have a fantastic day cheers